Hey there, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. We have a uh, workbook here today where uh, James Smith had been working on something for his uh, personal project using Warriors, uh, Warrior Heroes Legend um, game, and he has created like a dice roll game where he can uh, generate stats and things like this for his game. But the kicker for today is he's figured out a way to create like a table from Excel and generate it into a Word document and I'm going to show you what that looks like right now so you start off you choose a class a warrior a noble a soldier and you can do attributes roles and, and you can reroll certain things on here but here's the kicker once you get everything the way you want when you click send to Word all these stats are going to go into a Word document and Excel is going to close itself and boom this is a Microsoft Word document that has just been generated seemingly out of nowhere. Um, the Excel file has closed itself and everything. We now have an, a Word file that's got all the things that uh, he wanted it to say on there. Transferred over, basically copied and pasted over. But then the formatting I think he did in Word using, uh, using some of the code to make it uh, the black and white frame that it is right now. Uh, so anyway that's really good looking and I know he worked really hard on it he said that this is available to the public to download so if you click on the Dropbox link in my video description you can check this out play around with it make it your own but um, I'm gonna go ahead and close the Word document and not save it and I'm gonna open up the Excel file one more time and just go through uh, everything what I want to do really is look at some of these worksheets uh, it's not the alt one I don't think let's see it must okay it must be this one so I think the copy and paste code just takes this and copies it and pastes it into the new word document that's been generated but let's hit alt f11 take a look see so from alt f11 let's see nope not that one yes this one right here this is the button so send to word so it, what it does is set ws equals this workbook dot sheets sheet two. So let's see sheet two. Where is sheet two? Yeah. So we're on sheet two. So this is the one it uses. Application dot screen updating is false. Uh, and then it says copy paste shading extra and data to word. These four are custom macros. So let's put a stop marker on co the one he calls copy paste, and see if we can't uh, tab through or debug through this just a little bit here. So F8. Uh, oh well, let's see here. So let's set send to Word, and it stops right here for me. The copy paste macro. So let's go there. It's in module five. So copy paste. Let's see. It takes H4 through K7 and selects it. Which let's see here. It's that area right there selection dot copy and it goes to sheet two selects it range b1 and pastes it right there g10 through k7 select cut copy mode is false selection so it's just some copy and some pasting here cells I select auto fit column width is 10 range a1 dot select and then uh, B column width is 19.57 C is 16 this is 17 this is dot column width is 19.57 end of that so that was the copy paste one looks like that did not copy anything to word I think data to word is where that's gonna happen so the shading let's see what shading does let's see gives it all the shading qualities so it looks like he's gonna format it and shade it and all this stuff in Excel and then when you send it to Word it's probably a very simple copy and paste so he's going through these ranges and shading them the way he wants it not really needing to use any of the default um, patterns he's making it very custom here so let's just go a little further here almost done so adding some indents doing some more shading so that's really cool very custom then we got the one called extra let's see, I don't know what this is might be some more formatting looks like there's some asterisks and some copy pasting going on 
put your name here, that kind of thing. Okay. A lot of formatting. Mercy. Okay, here's the one. Data to Word. So, Word app is creating the Word uh, application. Word doc is uh, adding a new document. And then, um, at some point, we're going to, let's see. So, it ranges a1.currentregion. The centering everything range.copy. And then, um, set T is word doc dot content and uh, so T dot paste should paste it in the table with T dot tables number one dot columns set with range width range columns okay that's interesting word app dot visible is now true so that it's going to become uh, going to become visible right there and it pops up. It's already done the copy and paste in the background. Word app dot activate. This workbook dot saved equals true. And application dot quit. So save the workbook and quit it invisibly in the background. And then of course that automatically exits the sub. So that's interesting. It looks like when you do it at speed and if I wasn't debugging through it, maybe I skipped over something accidentally, but whenever you do um Maybe I didn't click on something right, but anyway, if you want to review this yourself, please click on the link in your in the Dropbox. Uh, excuse me, the Dropbox link in the video description, and you can take a look at the code for yourself. Play around with that. Let's all give a big fat uh, round of applause for James for designing this and let, allowing us to play around with um, a code that can help us format our own Excel to Word document um, projects. So thanks again. Uh, James and uh, also be sure to sign up for my free uh, ebook that is uh, the Excel or excuse me the essential uh, the essential Excel VBA snippets that's little pieces of code you can copy and paste and you can um, uh, shove them in your workbook and tweak your own code by just copying and pasting the little chapters of information little snippets that I have in yellow in my free workbook you can sign up at the video um, at the link in this uh, right here just click right here in the video and then um, furthermore I also have my new um, barcoding course on Udemy so if you want to check that out and learn how to be more efficient and how to eliminate data entry errors in your workplace or in your home or in your hobbies check out my barcoding course available now on udemy.com just click the link that is presented to you right now thanks for watching guys and god bless